Welcome my friends to my channel, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist, providing you with treatments and information and tips on how to stay healthy and fit within the confines of your own home, which I think is pretty cool. Today I wanted to discuss uh, information, kind of give you a visual representation of what I have used to maintain or stay on my exercise program for the past 30-35 years. I'm older than that, but I'm just saying I, I, I've been kind of on a steady exercise program for that long. And it's all about maintaining and preserving this thing which is willpower and that this today is going to represent your willpower the thing you have to understand is there are things that are going to take away from your willpower the first thing that i'd like to discuss you wake up in the morning you got a full batch of willpower the first thing one of the things that's going to take away from it is fatigue so as your day goes on and you're at work and you put a full eight hour day in you're going to lose some willpower and that's why a lot of people like to try to exercise in the morning because that's when they have a full batch of uh of willpower Another thing that takes away your willpower is when you're hungry. So it's not easy to exercise when you're still hungry. Um, other things that take away from your willpower, worry. Another thing, temptation. Let's say you got those cookies sitting out on the counter. You know, and, and really, Companies nowadays have become so much better at tempting you, haven't they, with, the, with their food and such. So it's harder to stay, but that'll take away some of your willpower. Stress takes away your willpower. If you're an introvert, which I actually am, believe it or not, uh, and if you understand how an introvert works or an extrovert, an introvert, when they don't, it's not that we don't like people, we love people, but f people fatigue us. So by the end of the day, we need some time away from people. And so that takes away from my willpower. A lot of times exercise helps bring it back because I'm on my, by myself and able to kind of recharge. Um, a lack of support by others. You know, if you're not having somebody supporting you in your exercise program, that could take away your willpower. And the final thing I think is knowledge. If you, if you, it's always better if you have a lack of knowledge on how to stay healthy and fit uh, that takes away from your, your knowledge and your willpower and how to do things. So anyway, by the time you get done to the end of the day, if a lot of those things are affecting you, you're not going to have any willpower to do your exercise program. So you need to do some things to help recharge it or, or work around it. Like I said, the first thing that many of you want to do is try to exercise in the morning when you still have your full supply of willpower. But things that help add back, back to it would be rest. So let's say... If you were, um, uh, you get back home and you take a little bit of nap. That's why I do it all the time. I just take a 20 minute nap. I feel recharged. I'm ready to, to do that workout or whatever needs to be done. If you're full from food, you know, you actually you have more willpower right then. Now it's hard to work out with that if you're going to do cardio, but uh, you might want to pick that time right after you've eaten and, and you've still got an energy level, but you're not so full from the eating that you can't exercise. Um, just setting goals helps your willpower, especially if you start reaching them. Uh, results, kind of along the same line. If you start seeing results, you start seeing that you're slimming down or you're getting stronger, you're getting faster, um, that helps boost your willpower. Compliments or support system, people around you. That's why it's so important to have people around you supporting you. I found this one, one of my most important to me is just a habit. If you make it a habit every day, that, that you're going to work out, I don't even think about it anymore. It's just part of my daily routine, and I, I don't need as much willpower then because it's just like brushing my teeth. You know, I don't really think about it. And the same thing, knowledge. Knowledge can help. You know, if you know how many calories you're eating and how to exercise, all that can help. So somehow I missed one of them because I'm still missing one here. But uh, anyway, get that willpower uh Build back up so you can get your exercise program done. You know, figure out the way to structure your day so that you're going to have a good uh, reserve of willpower uh, when you're working out. And, and in that, that way, you'll make sure that you do it every day. Thanks.